Good day. I'm Chandana, an academic working in Australian universities and collaborating with colleagues across the world, including Canada, New Zealand, Europe, India, and the United States. I work in the project management area and research in varied tools and initiatives in project management and social media and analytics. In the process of working with varied colleagues, particularly in the area of public health and global health advancement, I discovered Trello, a new exciting tool. This video is to give you a preliminary introduction to some of the initiatives that I have started recently. To start with, this tool enables you to go via the internet it's a web-based free tool which enables you to create an account using a simple email account like Gmail account and a password. And I'm logging in. Once you log in, you'll see a screen like this and here you will see that I have created some um, areas. Essentially, in Trello, these are called boards, lists, and cards. Essentially, if you click on this button here, plus sign, it will give you the explanations on each of these. So here, what I have done is creating a personal organization, which is a group of boards and people. And I have grouped boards depending on the projects that, in this case, CAGH, which is the Center for Advancement of Global Health, a nonprofit organization collaborating with varied research organizations across the world, is involved with. Um, you can change these settings depending on your requirements and also whether you would like to go into the business class area of Trello, which is an upgrade. So at this stage, I have created these boards and I start introducing with the CATH. You will see that I have created CATH as a public um, organization. So if I click on this, you'll see the drop down menu where you can change the visibility. So in this case, this board is public. It is visible to anyone with the link and will show up on search engines. It's particularly kept that way as we are open to our collaborations. In amongst um, CHH, we have, um, I've created at this stage, three different areas, internal, external, and news and media. So if you look at the internal area, there are two, this is a list, and there are two cards at this stage. One is regarding general body meeting. So if I went in here, I could essentially add attachments. The next general body meeting due date, if there are any checklists or agendas, attachments, add any members you wish to add, and also subscribe to this. So if there is any additions or changes, you will get informed by a notification in by your email setting. In here, I've created another card, which is the minutes, where it's going to be populated by the last minute which, uh, of the meeting, which has recently occurred. So given this internal uh, list, internal list and the cards involved in here, we get a strong idea of what the activities of this organization is and the times when particularly of audit, um, it becomes easier. With the external facing or external um, list that I've called, I've created cards for ideas, which may be new or enhanced ideas, people who want to come into the organization as volunteers and fellows, and people who are members of um, this organization can add any cards. Now to add members, if you look at this menu, you can see that I've got a few members in here who have already added. I can continue adding members here. 
depending on uh, when they accept the invitations. Um, since I've created this Trello account using a Gmail, any Gmail account is easier found and the others would need to be sent an invitation and accept the invitation to be added in here. News and Media is a list that I've created for adding any news and media related activities which occur within the organization, which can be public or um, which you want to communicate with everyone else. So this um, gives the organization an internal and external profile as well as some of the highlights which is going on. And we are in the process of adding um, further into this depending on how the discussions go with the other members of the organization. Now, if we go back a step, um, uh, I've also created three different uh, projects within the CAGH, connecting the CAGH um, organization. Let's begin with the first one called EWAS. This is an acronym for a project um, involving the early warning and adaptive response systems uh, where we collaborate with various colleagues in Europe, particularly in Germany. And here in collaboration with the colleagues in Germany, um, these heads or lists have been created which effectively have different, um, different items uh, underneath which are called in Trello, they're called cards. So if we look at this card, for example, this uh, relates to, um, this list is about technical implementations and this is a st for storage of data. So anything which has anything to do with storing of data for technical implementation and whoever would like to comment, um, if provided their members, can do that here, add attachments, create checklists, uh, create due dates and if you want to differentiate anything using labels you can do that as well with color coding. Um, on the other hand you have open documentation here which um, already has been populated with few um, comments and um, as you can see here there are questions and people are communicating via Trello via this forum. It is simply typing in and pressing a button and you can add attachments again, you can add checklists and so on. If I look at the to-do, it is the um, things which are there on the to-do list. In progress is something which is happening um, and if I click on this you can see that um, what is going on here um, in progress and as people finish um, whatever is in progress, these can be moved into, um, this card can be moved into from dragged from here and dropped under here, which, uh, which may be to do or any other um, areas. We've also created two areas for audit on hold and I'm adding another list here saying done. This is where all the project when anything is done and whichever is in progress when it is finished. Um, for example, when this progress, when it is finished, we can post a message or whatever needs to be, whatever has been accomplished can be put dragged under here. So as you can see, um, it is easy enough to communicate. All we need is a few heads um, to do in progress, some of the audits, um, specific areas where um, workflows are there and anything, any of these cards can be moved from one area to another area. So um, for example, if you wish to um, add a card as sample, And if you wish to drag and drop it under here, um, you can do that. So essentially it is as easy as that. So 
So with this, it becomes easier for people who come in, who are members to be added, to collaborate and create um, a documentation. It can clearly um, be visible at what stage we are in this project, who are involved in this project, what are they saying, if anyone wants to come in new and so on. Similarly, we have another project here from CAGH organization called the ST project, which is a private, um, it's only visible to the organization. And um, again, I have created a few um, heads here. This is for to do what is being done, which has been done, accomplished, a repository of research data and other act articles and so on, and any brainstorming activities which occur under this. So these are at the moment currently being populated by various people who are become, become members of this project. Similarly, I have another project in here called Sanitation from um, CHEH, where we have a few group of heads where you actually have publications and some news here. There's a long list of chudos which is getting populated. There are things in progress and there's a repository. Um, I have a, another list here called Brainstorm where you have new ideas and new people. So this is where new ideas from people who want to contribute come in and um, whoever is introduced by someone else comes in and so on. So as you can see, there are, these are the different boards that I've created. It's very um, clearly, it is um, easy enough to navigate, add data. Um, this uh, Trello also has a calendar function where you can schedule dates um, as well as keep reminders which will go into straight into your um, email or if you have a mobile device um, there are, there is the optimization of this tool is also for all mobile devices um, Android and um, iPhones um, and various others not only laptops so in today's world with a lot of collaboration and open collaboration I find this an interesting, yet a visually appealing, um, useful other minute which uses only a web-based interface and internet. It is an interesting tool um, which you can use for multidisciplinary collaborations and you can actually see what other projects are being involved with if you are in the same organization, if you are members, and you can actively take part. I leave the forum open at this point for any feedback and comments. Uh, any feedback um, on enhancements is welcome. This is a preliminary experiment and I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.